Worthy of every song we could ever sing Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you We live for you Jesus, the name above every other name Jesus, the only one who could ever say Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe We live for you we live for you. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside you. Open up my eyes in wonder. Show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever say. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. We live for you. Holy, there is no one like you. There is none beside. Open up my eyes in wonder Show me who you are and fill me With your heart and lead me In your love to those around me I will build everyone. I hope that you survived the storm okay, and please let us know if you could use some help uh, shoveling or with groceries or anything like that. Uh, this evening I'm looking at a, a rather challenging passage, and I think probably next week I'll look at an even more challenging one uh, from the Gospel of Mark chapter 9. I'm going to be reading verse 42, so let us listen for God's Word to us today. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. Uh, so the first question, and you can see the questions in the description section below, is what, what the central issue is here. Uh, the central issue is whether or not you believe in Jesus, and more particularly, whether or not you are putting stumbling blocks before anybody else with regards to whether or not they believe in Jesus. Uh, question two, what's going to happen to anyone who teaches others that Jesus was a, a charlatan or a liar or a fool? Uh, anybody who does so has, has got some serious judgment ahead of them. Uh, Jesus here uses a hyperbole, which gets us into question three. Uh, if you um, believe that Jesus was one of those things and tell others that Jesus was one of those things and or you explicitly argue against the teachings of Jesus, 
it, it would be better for you, says Jesus, uh, for you to simply die now than to live the rest of your life uh, with the fiery judgment of God alive in your conscience uh, as you actively work against the way of Jesus. Because when you actively work against um, the love and the truth and the peace and the mercy that Jesus taught and calls us all to, uh, then you yourself are going to be at war. You're going to find hatred at work in you. Uh, and you're going to find the judgment of God um, trying to call you back. That's what the judgment of God is for. It is not to condemn. It is to call you back to the way of Jesus. Uh, and so um, you've, got, you've got some serious consideration uh, to do. The, the next question, what would be the converse of Jesus' teachings? The converse would be, if you uh, support the way of Jesus and, and help others to come to believe in Jesus and his way, the way that he showed the world, you're going to receive the blessings of the kingdom of heaven. Love, joy, peace, beyond measure. These are the things that you long for. And I'm here to tell you that the way that you can find them is by exploring the way of Jesus, gradually coming to believe in it, uh, and, and further it in the world. Question five, what do you believe about Jesus? And more basically, uh, what do you know about him? This is the crux of the matter because Jesus is the crux of your life. And so I strongly charge you to take a look uh, at what Jesus taught. Take a look at how Jesus lived. And I'm convinced that if you do so, um, that, that, that exploration is a kind of little opening of the door of your heart and, and Jesus and the Spirit and the gifts of the kingdom of heaven will gradually or suddenly rush in uh, and you'll find uh, your heart satisfied. Uh, I hope you will be willing to do so because apathy is an option. You can actively work against Jesus if you've already made a decision against him. Apathy is another option, but as, as one of my favorite bands said, if you choose not to decide, you still have made a choice. Uh, and so apathy is not a good choice. Um, deciding that you don't want to make a decision is a decision. Uh, and, uh, and so make a decision uh, to, at the very least, have a look at this most influential person in all of human history. Uh, learn about what he had to say regarding right and wrong and good and bad uh, and love and hatred and violence and peace. Uh, see what he showed the world uh, and then make a decision about whether that is something you can support in the world and something you want to further. Um, I pray it is so uh, because the consequences are severe. Either the gifts of the kingdom of heaven uh, or the perdition of death and wickedness. God bless and keep you, and uh, thank you so much for listening, and let's have a prayer together. Uh, God, what a blessing it is to, to come before you and, and receive a word from you. Uh, we pray now for those who, uh, who are watching this and, and may know just a little bit about Jesus and may in fact know a lot of distorted things about Jesus because there's plenty of wrong teachings about him. Uh, and so we pray, Father, that you would shine the light of your truth upon them, uh, that you would guide and lead them uh, into the Gospels, and, and uh, that they would come to learn more about uh, uh, this person uh, whom you sent into the world to show amazing love, uh, to forgive the sins of those who had been pushed aside, uh, to show us that health and life are before us, uh, and to, in the fullness of time, Lord, be risen from the dead uh, to show us that life, in fact, is not perishable but eternal. Uh, we pray all this lifting up, O oh Lord, uh, those who are hurting due to the pandemic and praying for safety uh, in the midst of a winter storm and asking, O oh Lord, that you would guide the leaders of the nations uh, to live into the way of your Son so that prosperity might come to all. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.
Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Uh, remember that Jesus loves you and that there's nothing you can do, nothing that anybody can do to you uh, to stop the victory of that love. Uh, so knowing that uh, love is the greatest thing, the most powerful thing, uh, the only eternal thing, in fact, uh, I charge you to commit your life uh, to loving others with the same sort of love uh, that God has shown us in Jesus. Uh, thanks again, and, and God bless and keep you, uh, and have a wonderful rest of the week.